Hello everybody, my name is Periwinkle and today I have a pretty cool video for you guys. I'm basically going through YouTube and one of my idols, Jesse Page, posted a video called Tall Girl Struggles and honestly I was like, whoa. I'm a short girl and I have a lot of struggles. I basically wanted to make a video to f make my short girls feel included and yeah so I will basically want to cover the short girl struggles. If this video gets I'd say five likes I will definitely do a short girl perks. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the video. First thing I probably only have to say two words. Pant legs. Oh my god. <laughs> like I can feel the negative energy already. So when you're trying on jeans you know a lot of stores don't have petite sections is what I've realized <laughs> and you're like if you're like me and you're a bit curvier you need wider hip you know to wear some nice jeans length gets longer with the sizes and when you're a five foot one girl you don't want to be walking around with footy pajama looking jeans <laughs> like that cover your shoe it's just not a cute look and you're just walking around with footy pajama jeans and for every short girl, I feel like they struggle with this because you go up in sizes and suddenly the legs are freaking green giant-esque and you're just like... <laughs> and again, being a sh short curvy girl, you gotta kind of go up in sizes to fit them hips in and it's just, it's maddening. And especially when you're walking on a rainy day and all that dirt gets on your le legs. Oh, and it crusties. Next oh, is a shelves. <laughs> Well, let's just say I don't want to have to go rock climbing in order to get like a cup from the top shelf because that's what it ends up being is I'll have to like maneuver certain things in order to climb onto the kitchen counter and reach into the cabinet to get a specific thing whether it be like medicine or something like that. Like I'm sorry but can you not like just make longer lower shelves because <laughs> it's just I, I don't want to have, go through extreme sports every time I need something from the cabinet and that's what it feels like I have to do. <laughs> Next, um, this is kind of a touchy subject, but where the weight goes. I've noticed that a lot of tall girls are very skinny because the weight just displaces very nicely, like it'll go to their hips and if you're like me, you like some wide hips and it'll go to their butt, their tits, but when you're a short girl it just seems to all go to your thighs and your stomach. And I don't think that's very fair. Like, <laughs> thighs are okay. I, I can get some thick thighs, but I don't want my stomach crinkling up, like, it getting all flabby and stuff like that just because I decided to have a cheeseburger one night. It makes no sense because I just want to live my life and I want to be like a tall girl where the weight just all displaces so nicely and not have a pudgy face and a stomach without abs for the summer just because I decided to indulge in a cheeseburger once. Next is, I'm, I'm sure you guys are all familiar, and that is the armrest situation. Basically you're just chilling out with some of your average height friends and suddenly you're use, your head's used as an armrest. And it's not fair because maybe you want to use an armrest but you gotta find a freaking four foot nine person in order to do it and there's like that's rare so you're just walking around unless you can find a little kid and walking around with someone resting their arm on you and you're just like pardon I'm, I'm a human too this isn't an airplane can you like get your, get your, get your arm off me Next, this happens a lot more than people think, and that is carnival rides. A lot of the rides at my carnival are very, like, be five foot or else you're gonna get flung off the rod. And for, where I'm one inch over five foot, they always check my height, and I'm just like, bro! Like, if this was weight-based where I could sit down and my weight keeps me down, you guys, like, I'd be good. You don't <laughs> need me. To, why are you checking my height for? I'm a high schooler. Like, what? I'm No, I'm done growing. Should I just walk around the carnival in heels all day and get blisters just so you don't have to check my height? Next is kind of a good thing, but I'm always mistaken for a 10 year old. Everyone's like, oh, how old are you? And I'm like, 16. And everyone's like, oh, I thought you were 12. Like, no, I like, <laughs> Usually I'll have my whole makeup on and they're like, oh, I thought you were 12. Like, I'm sorry. What kind of 12 year old has a beautiful cut crease, sharp eyeliner, and overdrawn lips? Uh, not many. Well, probably a lot in today's society, but not many when I was younger. And I'm just over here like, pa 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 pardon? <laughs> like, what? Did, what? What? Uh, what? 
I have, how am I a 12 year old? Please, please explain. Next is a pictures. Well, you, if you got a lot of tall model-esque friends, they gotta bend down to fit in your frame. <laughs> or you have to get on your tippy toes. And if you're short, you know tippy toes are your best friend. But basically, pictures are really hard, especially with all your average height friends. And if you're doing like prom pictures, where you know you're, you're getting your waist wrapped around and stuff like that, the height difference is astronomical. Like your head is on their chest and there's like this big a difference between that. And it's like, how does that even work? Like, yes, my neck does hurt from looking up like this all the time. Trust me, it does. Next is, because your legs are so short, everyone automatically puts you in the middle seat. And it's terrible, because you just sit there and you, yes, my legs are small, but they still would like to sprawl out a little bit. But just because I'm the shortest, I automatically get put in the middle seat. Like, that's, that's a little sizest, if I can make that claim. Like, I would love to sprawl my legs out a little bit, but until you find the shorter friend, you're gonna be stuck in the middle seat, and you better like it, because being tall is such a problem. Next is watching, like, a concert or something. If you're not in the first row, you're basically screwed, because all these people are gonna be taller than you, and you have to get on your tippy toes and crane your neck to see the artist, and you can't bring footstools in, and it's just really hard, and at least you aren't blocking someone's view, but it's hard to see the show because, you know, front row tickets are expensive and I really can't see unless I'm either on an edge or the front row. And sometimes I don't want to be standing up during the entire concert. Sometimes I want to sit down, but if everyone in front of you is like, yo, we're going to stand up this entire concert, you have no choice. You have to stand up in order to see your favorite artist and it, it's tiring. Next, the last one is running, especially when you're running with a friend. If they have longer legs, they will move faster and they will go greater distances. <laughs> when you're over here, your little legs, they're barely making any progress. They're like, it's like a Scooby-Doo episode where they're like running in place. But because your legs are so small, you can't really go a great distance. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed and yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye!